Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is lecture number one. The name of the paper is semantics, and the topic is types of meanings. This lecture is specifically for the students of BS fourth semester GDC Pabbi, and also for the students of those colleges which are affiliated with Abdul Wali Khan University. If you have a look at your contents, these are your course contents. These are some of the questions you have. The first one is the early theories of meaning by Ogden and Richards. And the second one is the types of meaning. Then you have semantic field, commercial theory and others. But today we are taking this topic. The, the types of meaning and we will discuss is discuss it from these notes i hope i have shared these notes with you but if uh, i have not shared kindly let me know then i'll share it with your whatsapp group the types of meanings which we will discuss here actually are seven in number However, in this introductory paragraph, we will learn that we can take the wide sense of the word meaning and the limited sense of the word meaning. We already know, you have studied it in Jajiol's book, uh, that semantics is the study of meaning, the meaning of words, phrases and sentences. Here in this paragraph, we learn that there are two senses in which we can take the word meaning. One is the wider sense, the other is the limited sense. In the wider sense, meaning means all that is communicated by language. Whatever we say in language and communicate it with others is meaning. <coughs> this is the wider sense. However, in the limited sense, it refers only to conceptual meaning or to logical meaning, which we will discuss uh, in detail. So these are the two um, concepts, the wider sense, if we take it in wider sense, whatever is communicated by language, it will become very complicated. Therefore, this wider sense includes all the seven meaning, we will say that all the seven meanings are included in this wider sense and special uh, importance is given to the first one, this one, the conceptual meaning, which would become that, uh, as we say, in the limited sense. So all the seven types of meaning, including the conceptual meaning, will uh, have this reference, the wide sense of all that is communicated by language and in the limited sense we will take this one meaning and we will take it as the most important one. Why is this an important one? We will discuss it in this topic and what is meant by conceptual meaning. This will also be discussed. However, let me translate this uh, first paragraph for you in Urdu so that you understand it fully. It's uh, a new topic may look a, a little difficult to you. Is me aapko bataya ke do senses meaning ke liye jate hain. Meaning to aapko pata hai. Semantics meaning hi ki study hai. Or yul ke mutabik sent, uh, words meanings, uh, phrase meanings or sentence meanings is me shamil hai. Lekin yaa hum isko do senses seek rahe hain. Ek wider sense hai, ek limited sense Wider sense mein jo kuch bhi communicate hota hai language ki through ye wider sense mein meaning ke laega. Or limited sense mein kisi lafs ka ya sentence ka ya phrase ka jo conceptual meaning hai wo marad hoga. To sare saaton types jab hum akatta karenge to ye wider sense mein hamare pas meaning aa jayega. Or ye ek basic hoga 
क्योंकि कंसेप्चुअल मीनिंग है ये सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है हम ये सीखेंगे कि इम्पॉर्टेंट है इसको रीड करता हूँ ट्रांसलेट करता हूँ इस सारे लेक्चर में अगर ये साथ मुकम्मल नहीं हुए तो कम से कम हम एक या दो कर लेंगे फिर बारी बारी लेक्चर टू थ्री फोर सेमेंटिक्स का होगा सम पीपल थिंक सेमेंटिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ मीनिंग इन ए वाइट सेंस कुछ लोगों का ख्याल ये है कि वाइट सेंस है इस मीनिंग का और वो है ऑफ ऑल दैट इज़ कम्यूनिकेटेड बाई लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज में जो कुछ कम्यूनिकेट होता है ये मीनिंग है अदर्स लिमिटेड टू द स्टडी ऑफ लॉजिकल कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग बाज कहते हैं कि ये लिमिटेड यानी लॉजिकल कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग ही असल में मीनिंग है सेमेंटिक्स इन दी फॉर्मर वाइडर सेंस ये वाला जो सेंस है कैन लीड अस इन टू द वाइट ये हमें पेचीदगी में ले जा सकता है दी डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ऑल दैट मे बी दी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन नॉलेज और बिलीफ इसमें सारा कुछ शामिल होगा जो ह्यूमन नॉलेज में शामिल है ह्यूमन बिलीफ में शामिल है और ये हमें गुम कर देगा अपने में वी शेल ब्रेक डाउन मीनिंग इन इट्स वाइडेस्ट सेंस इन टू सेवन डिफरेंट का इन्ग्रीडियंट्स तो हम ये करेंगे कि वाइडेस्ट सेंस में हम इसको सेवन डिफरेंट अज्जा में तकसीम कर देंगे ये बिंग प्राइमरी इम्पॉर्टेंस टू लॉजिकल मीनिंग और कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग और बुनियादी अहमियत हम देंगे कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग को और जिसको लॉजिकल मीनिंग भी कहते हैं हम इसको यहाँ पे डिस्कस करेंगे और फॉर्चुनेटली आप इसको डिस्कस कर चुके हैं जाजोल में दी सिक्स ऑफ द टाइप्स वी शेल कंसिडर आर कानोटेटिव मीनिंग विल डिस्कस इट इन डिटेल सोशल मीनिंग इफेक्टिव मीनिंग रिफ्लेक्टिव मीनिंग कॉलोकेटिव मीनिंग एंड थीमेटिक मीनिंग्स सो ना वील टेक दन बाई वन दी फर्स्ट वन विच वी सेट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन एंड दी बेसिक वन द प्राइमरी वन इज द कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग वट इज मैंट बाई कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग एंड वट आर इट्स डिफरेंट नेम्स द फर्स्ट नेम एज यू कैन सी इज द कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग द सेकेंड इट इज ऑल्सो नेम डेज डेनोटेटिव मीनिंग and third it is also referred to as cognitive meaning conceptual meaning or denotative meaning is a type of meaning you find in dictionaries dictionaries are designed to give you denotative meaning conceptual meaning cognitive meaning and uh, <clears throat> in uh, this type of meaning uh you take the real use of this uh, of the word being used the uh, meaning this meaning is not an associative meaning it is contrasted with associative meaning it is the meaning that that is conveyed by the literal use of a word so this is one definition the other is that it is that meaning for which the dictionaries are designed and um, this example will make it clear for example if we take needle one of the characteristics of needle is that it is thin second it is sharp next is its steel instrument and uh, this uh, refers to the dictionary meaning of needle and it makes the concept clear however with the needle some uh, other things are associated which is not actually included in conceptual meaning for example pain if you prick someone with a needle illness for example when someone is ill he is injected with a needle blood for example if you are pinched with it blood will come out drugs are used with it thread is attached with it and knitting however these are the things which are associated with uh the meaning needle the actual or the literal meaning is that it is an instrument uh, of steel it is thin and sharp so this is what we mean by the conceptual meaning why is conceptual meaning important we will here refer to two reasons due to which we consider conceptual meaning as the most important meaning the first reason is that it uh, is based on the principle of contrastiveness and the second is that it is based on the principle of structure what is meant by the principle of contrastiveness 
you have studied the different characteristics of phonemes when we were describing a, them in phonology for example when we describe the phoneme uh, b b sound we said that it is bilabial and we put a plus mark before it uh, we talked in plus and minus plus and minus are two so uh, it is referred to as bi so it is bilabial because it is pronounced with two lips plus because it is like that plus voice it is voice plus stop it is stop minus nasal because it doesn't go the sound doesn't go in nose and therefore it is minus nasal so we talked in plus and minus these uh, are the different features and um, this is from phonology uh, we will prove that this first uh, quality is found in the conceptual meaning as well as that second quality is also found in the conceptual meaning uh, as I said b is referred to as plus bilabial plus voice plus top minus nasal in the same way if we take for example the word woman and we try to find out just like these what are the characteristics just like Burby had the characteristics woman also had the characteristics uh, which are also referred to as semantic features plus human a woman is a human minus male it is not male plus adult it is adult as distinct from the word boy which is plus human plus male plus minus adult contrasted with woman so just like these uh, it has complexity uh, um, and it uh, can be expressed with the help of these um, characteristics or features the second is the principle of structure principle of structure means for example there are if you look at this uh, you have studied this in uh, sentence structure that uh, smaller words for example determiner and noun make a single thing called the subject is an an island out of these two is made complement and out of the complement in the verb is made predicate so smaller units from smaller units bigger units are made and from these two bigger units yet another bigger biggest unit is made and that is sentence this is called the structural principle this principle is also found in meaning uh, in semantics in conceptual meaning for example if you have a look at this this is the example of hyponymy I've taken this diagram from Yule, George Yule's book and uh, hyponymy uh, is included in semantics you can see that smaller units animal and insect make a bigger unit creature vegetable flower and tree smaller units make a bigger element plant and these two bigger elements make yet a bigger element called um, the biggest element and uh, this same principle which is the principle of structure is applied in hyponymy and it is also applied in uh, sentence structure so this uh, structural principle is applied and this phonological principle is also applied principle of contrastiveness and this makes the conceptual meaning as the most important type of meaning I will now read this for you and translate it हमने बात ये पढ़ी कि कंसेप्चुअल मीनिंग से मुराद डिक्शनरी का माना है और ये आप डिक्शनरी में देख सकते हैं इसको डेनोटेटिव मीनिंग भी कहते हैं कॉग्नेटिव और कंसेप्चुअल मीनिंग भी कहते हैं और ये एक्चुअल यूज के साथ ताल्लुक रखता है और हमने ये भी पढ़ा कि दो रीजंस की वजह से ये ज़्यादा अहम है क्योंकि ये प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंट्रास्टिवनेस भी रखता है 
और ये प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर भी रखता है प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंट्रास्टिवनेस की मिसाल हमने फनालोजी से ली फनालोजी में बर्क का हमने डिस्क्राइब किया प्लस बाई लेबियल प्लस वाइस प्लस टाप माइनस नेजल बहुत स्पेसिफिक डिस्क्रिप्शन इसकी हो रही है इसी तरीके से हम एक लफ्ज वोमन के मीनिंग में प्लस ह्यूमन माइनस मेल प्लस एडल्ट और बॉय के इसमें प्लस ह्यूमन प्लस मेल माइनस एडल्ट ये लिख सकते हैं तो ये एक तो इस तरह कैसे जिस तरह ये एक पेचीदगी के साथ दिया गया है और सब कुछ एक्सप्लेन करता है इसी तरीके से हमने वोमन की मीनिंग को यानी सेमेंटिक्स को भी लिया इस कंसेपचुअल मीनिंग को भी लिया तो ये इस वजह से ज़्यादा दूसरा ये इसलिए अहम है कि स्ट्रक्चरल प्रिंसिपल जो कि सिंटेक्स में इस्तेमाल होता है वो मीनिंग में भी इस्तेमाल होता है मसलन सिंटेक्स में छोटी चीज़ें बड़ी बनाती हैं बड़ी चीज़ों से और बड़ी चीज़ बनती है नो मैन डिटर्मिनर नाउ न कटा होकर सब्जेक्ट बनाते हैं इज एन आइलैंड इकट्ठा होकर प्रेडिकेट बनाते हैं सब्जेक्ट प्रेडिकेट मिलकर सेंटेंस बनाते हैं इसी तरीके से हाइपानमी भी है जो सेमेटिक्स में है जो कि मीनिंग में है एनिमल इंसेक्ट क्रीचर बनाते हैं वेजिटेबल फ्लावर ट्री से मनात प्लांट हैं और ये दोनों मिल के ये दोनों को ले तो इस वजह से ये इम्पोर्टेंस रखता है ये दो रीजंस आपने हमने बयान की कंसेप्चुअल मीनिंग को सीखा और इसकी इम्पोर्टेंस के दो रीजन सीखे अब हम इसको यहाँ से पढ़ भी सकते हैं तो हम इसको अब पढ़ते हैं कंसेप्चुअल मीनिंग समटाइम्स कॉल्ड डेनेटेटिव और कोग्नेटिव मीनिंग इस कंसेप्चुअल टू बी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर